This is one XP point. This is 100 XP points. And this is 1 million XP. Or 83 Ender Dragons worth. And I am giving myself just 100 Minecraft days to try and get to 1 million XP. Time is of the essence and every bit of XP counts. To begin with, I want to get to the end and defeat the Ender Dragon. Since that'll be 12,000 XP straight away, although that only works once, because every time after that, you only get 500 XP. I'm hoping to find some animals, but they seem far and few between. Aha! A pig! And that's my first bit of XP. I have a counter in the top right corner telling me the total amount of XP I've collected. And for you guys, it's instead a fancy edited one on screen. I'm starting to realize that animals do not give you much XP at all. But they're necessary for food, so I'll allow it. I'm also out here annoying every Camman 18 fan because I'm mining birch. Now to mine up a bit more stone, then get myself a furnace and a... Well, not like that. A smoker. The food's cooking and smelting is another source of XP. There are actually nine different ways to get XP in the game. I bet you can't think of them all. Killing mobs and smelting is two of them, I've already given you those. But there's still seven more for you to guess. Breeding, that's another one. There you go, I've given you a third one. Even though the XP collect isn't very much. And to succeed at this challenge, I need to get an average of 10,000 XP a day. So far, I'm on 38. Yeah, there's, there's work to be done. And the sun is already going down on day one. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to hurry up. Which means I'm initiating speedrunning mode. Step one, get loads more food because I do not want to have to worry about that later. Step two, go out in search of shipwrecks because I, I need a load of iron. And it's night time, so I, I want to avoid as many mobs as possible. A ruined portal. Not exactly what I wanted, but it'll do for now. Gold armor and a little bit of iron. Nice. And a shipwreck. A shipwreck with a treasure chest. Fantastic. And a bottle of XP. Okay, yes, that is the next way because these give you XP. Only nine, but, but it's still something. And there's a buried treasure map. Even better. Somewhere in this direction. Let's go and get it. This is the exact spot to dig down in. Gold and diamonds, fantastic. Plus another ocean ruins with obsidian and flint. Okay, this is really, really nice. Plus, if I craft an iron pickaxe, I can also grab the gold. And this ocean ruins has a fishing rod, which is XP source number five, because yes, you get it from fishing. I've got a bite. And I've got a saddle. Okay, that was amazing. I only got like 4 XP, but I'll take a saddle. Also, see you later, fishing rod. I, I, I don't really need you. Now, I have got all sorts of loot. I want to quickly make myself a shield. Because before this day ends, I at the very least want to get to 100 XP. It can't be hard. Each mob drops me 5 experience. And now with me being at 99, yeah, I knew I was going to be successful. At this point, I'm happy with all the items I've got. So now my main focus is to make sure I can get full iron armor. And that is the sixth XP source, by the way, mining certain blocks, such as ores and skulk. This water has actually led me to quite a good cave. Hopefully with every bit of iron that I require. All right, never mind. <laughs> it was tiny. Okay, let's just get out of here and continue searching underwater. I know this challenge is possible and I'm confident I'm going to do it. But at the same time, when I see how slowly my XP is going up, it does make me get a little bit worried. Paper, paper, that is going to be useful. I should be collecting more of it. Because when I get the elytra, I'm going to need to be flying around quite a lot. All my armor is crafted. And once I grab a little bit more coal, I'll be ready for the nether. I just need to find one of those lava lakes again. Hang on a minute. Why am I on foot when I can instead tame a whole I chuck a saddle on it. Oh, this is fantastic. Although I sadly didn't get any XP for taming him. But anyway, that's not important. Instead, what is important is I've successfully found a massive cave which probably does have a lava lake in it. Okay, well, not like that. Worst attempt at MLG ever there. But anyway, let's carry on. Yes, I was right. Look at the size of that. And this diamond's down here. Fantastic. I do also need gunpowder. So creepers are on the menu. First, you get spleefed. I can't believe you survived. How did you even survive that? Then I get my diamond and I continue exploring. A dungeon. So that's got a moth. Now, technically, that counts as mining a block for XP, but it gives you quite a bit of XP, which is nice. And a gold apple. Wow. Not bad at all, but I think I'm ready to go to the nether. And it's still day two, so I'm on pretty good pace. Well, it would be if I could build another portal without destroying the entire area. And I destroy my water. Oh, what an idiot I am. Thankfully, there is some up here. But it is, it is a little bit of a waste of time, isn't it? Operation build a portal take two is complete. This time without any mishaps. Now, please be a good nether. Please be a good nether. It's okay, but at least one good thing about the nether is you get quartz. And quartz drops you quite a lot of XP. Somebody should count how many times I say the word XP. I'm going to say it a lot. And look at this. After just a little bit of mining, I'm on 500 experience points. Although we're now on day three, so I should I technically have 20,000 by now. Yeah, we're, we're definitely not on good pace. I am just heading through this portal for the one reason that I'd like to make myself a diamond pickaxe and mine up enough obsidian so I can make another portal in the nether. That's all 10. And now I can freely explore this place till I find a bastion and a fortress. And it looks like there's quite a lot of entities in this direction. So hopefully it'll lead to the home of the piglins. Yes, indeed it did. So I'll gather up a load more blocks. 
swap this out for a bucket of lava and head on in. It's a stables one, which means there might be a lot of gold or there might not. There's no gold blocks on this side, just a chest with a gold block in it. Okay, yeah, kind of ironic that I said there's no gold blocks. There's not the main gold blocks. And there's no gold blocks on this side either. Are you kidding me? Pretty terrible bastard. Probably won't even get all the pearls. But I'll battle what I've got with these guys for now anyway. Those are some nice iron boots, but unfortunately not a single pearl. Now, there is more gold up here. I just need to keep them all away since it's hiding in the floor. Ancient debris. Nice. That could be handy. Looting three iron sword. That's great. Okay, I don't, I don't need to bother with this bastion now. I can just find some endermen. That has really made my life so much easier. I'm also going to try to visit every single biome in the nether, which is why I've mined into the basalt delta, because the seventh way to get XP is by completing certain advancements, and hot tourist destinations is one of them. It gives you 500. Aha. Warp forest. All right, endermen. Let's get this over with. Looting three, and I got zero? Yeah, I've, I've quite clearly been scammed. Three, now that is more like it. Okay, stupid piglin has got in the boat, so this guy is kind of angry at me, and it's a bit of an intense battle. An intense battle that I won, naturally, but I can't believe this guy nearly ruined it for me. Fun side point, since we're now on day four, I should have 30,000 XP, but I've actually got 612. Yeah, I bet you're all starting to doubt me, aren't you? Well, here's some good news. We're about to get hot tourist destinations. Which gave me 500! And now I've got to try not to die. Okay, this is a little bit of a sticky situation. But don't you worry, I have fire rest. Don't even need to go into that part of the bam. I just did it for the advancement. Wait, is that is that what I think it is? A fortress! Okay, this run is starting to get really good. I just need a few more endermen. Hang on, wait, another advancement and I can't miss! Yes! 500 XP again. No, sorry, that one was 50 XP. Yeah, not, not quite as good. And that is 16 pearls. I'm happy with that. So it's time to get into the fortress. And I'm right by the blaze border. Don't you worry, ladies and gentlemen because I have fire resistance. So getting rid of these guys with looting three should be a piece of cake. Oh, it's a double spawner as well. Oh, it just keeps getting better. Random seed, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. I'll put it in the description. Mission accomplished. Once I get these that have dropped down, I can make a new portal and begin my journey to the end. Oh, and I can get loads of gunpowder now that I've got looting three. So it's definitely worth me spending the night doing that. Plus I can get a load more food too. More endermen, nice. And I just hit level 30. Kind of good, but there's still a long way to go. I'm pretty close to it. According to this, I've actually run over it. Yep, it's at this very spot here because it's just gone underground. So I'll start digging. Yeah, we're in. Fantastic. I found the starting staircase and I found the portal room. This spawner will give me a bit more XP. I can fill in all of the eyes and away we go. All right, Ender Dragon. I just had a moment where I thought I hadn't brought a bow, but I brought something better, a crossbow with multi-shot mighty ads. So technically, I can't miss. Although you know me, I'd probably find a way. It's been so long since I've done speed running that I've forgotten all the straps. You know, I don't know why I just didn't bring beds to take out the dragon. That would have been a lot easier. Anyway, from up here, it's pretty straightforward because with that, every tower is gone. Okay, I had no choice but to MLG this. <laughs> the dragon was coming after me. I'll tell you what, with this crossbow, and I know I said this before, I, I can't miss the dragon. And it's coming in for a quick perch. That's fantastic. So I can get busy getting rid of it and that is going to get me so, so much XP. Not that much left. Oh, well, there goes my crossbow. They said I'll take this opportunity while I'm waiting to make my fire rockets. And now I can get you. And this is the good bit. Give me all the XP. That's it. Okay, some of it's going in the portal. That's, that's not too good. But getting that 10,000 XP has really put me back on track. Ish. I'm still behind by nearly 40,000. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I've got loads of time left. Loads of time to hopefully find an end city and get those elytra. Aha. But does it have what I need? You bet it does. Okay, this is fantastic. Now, my first goal is to get hit by a shulker and float up really, really high. That way I can get the great view from up here advancement. Am I gonna make it? I think I've run out of sugar, but yes, I did get it. Fantastic. Granted, the advancement does only get you 50 XP, but it is better than nothing. And I also know it's easy to do if you do it when you're already really high up and just eat a chorus fruit or throw an ender pearl, but we got it anyway. Because most importantly, I've got them elytra. And the looting two diamond sword, you know, I'm, I'm taking that instead. Yeah, this is basically the place where I'm just gonna get completely kitted out. And with elytra looting end cities, it's super, super easy. That's this one fully plundered. There's another one just over there. And one next to it. Yeah, we can get loads of loot pretty quickly. Finally, more diamonds and also some leggings. The helmet's the final thing. I, I, I know it's cursor binding, but I don't plan to take it off, so it's here to stay. Plus an extra pair of elytra, just what I needed. That was a good clutch. <laughs> My elytra just broke. Thankfully, I can get a brand new pair right here. I think at this point, I've got myself enough loot and enough elytra. I mean, just look at it all. There's plenty. And there's an end gateway just up ahead. Look, the end city's about there. There's an end gateway here, so I can very easily... Well, if I can aim, take two, so I can very easily fly through. And now that I'm back here, there's two things I want to do. First of all, get rid of that axe. Although, I need to mine some wood first before getting rid of it. I was a little too hasty. Now I can get rid of that axe, and then I can bring this out, grab three diamonds, and get a much better diamond axe. An XP, yeah, I'm meant to be focusing on getting XP. I should have 70,000 by now to be on track. 
I have 11,000. So yeah, it's, it's definitely not ideal. But the main thing I want to try and find now is a village. With a light tree, it should be easy, but we'll soon see. There's one up ahead. It took me so long to find it that I've had a haircut since. Okay, in reality, it didn't take me that long. It was, it was only a few minutes. Now, I come here because this is how I'm going to get the eighth source of XP. Just need a couple of pieces of flint and a fletching table. Because, yes, the next source of XP is a villager trading. Not a crazy amount, but it's still a nice bonus. Now, I didn't just trade with a villager to show you that. No, there's, there's another motive behind it. Because if I get myself a little bit of leather, I can then craft books, book cases, and a lectern. Because I really need unbreaking three and mending from one of you guys. And to have the maximum chance of completing this challenge, I do need to avoid sleeping every single night to give me, you know, the most amount of time. But I can't really trade them at this point. So I'm going to break that rule and sleep tonight. Don't like using up precious time, but it's got to be done. He's offering me mending for 38 emeralds. I'm not accepting that. That's, that's a right ripoff. And I've got it. Only 12 emeralds as well. That's a fantastic price. So I think I'll use this opportunity to buy a couple more of them. Although I'm going to need to craft two books for that. Then... I can buy a couple more. I also want to get away from this village because I don't want them all taken out by mobs. And this right here is actually the first time I'm going to use up some XP. See, I'm kind of going backwards, but it's all for a good cause. And the challenge is to collect a million XP in 100 days. If I use some, I've still collected it technically, but it's just not part of my levels anymore. Anyway, I, I expect to get more than a million XP, even though I am right now 80,000 XP behind. Okay, yeah, maybe I should get a move on. Oh my goodness, how have so many animals just spawned in one tiny place? This is fantastic. Loads of food, now I don't really have to go anywhere. And XP as well, I'll take it. Don't mind if I do. And I do think it's probably a good idea for me to spend the rest of this night collecting gunpowder, because firework rockets are very important, and I only have 32 left. And the good thing is, I've got a looting three sword, so the gunpowder does come in very, very quickly. Already got 21. And this is getting me a little bit more XP at the same time too, which is always nice. I think I've just about got every creeper and the sun is starting to rise. Never mind, I was wrong. There is one left. 34 gunpowder, very good. Now I just need 34 paper to go with it. And thankfully with an electro collecting sugarcane is very, very easy indeed. I found a ruined portal. There's a chest with a bit of gold, which is always nice. I'm going to leave the iron because I really don't need it. And I'll get myself a brand new flint and steel. I'll tell you what would be a good place to get a lot of XP. The deep dark. Maybe under this mountain there could be one down here. And it's a very, very good cave for getting nice and low down. Although I've said that, this is the lowest point. So I'm, I'm just going to start digging and see what's at the bottom. Oh, look at this. Straight into an ancient city. And straight into setting off a skulk. Shrieker. Thankfully, I've still got a few more chances before I have to worry about a warden spawning. And look at this. XP. Every block is just worth XP. So what I'm hoping is that I can find a hoe in one of these... Double not chapel. Let's go. That's awesome. This is just going to be a great place to get loot in general. But yeah, I want a diamond hoe from one of these. And I should also spend some time gathering up quite a bit of wool. That way I can navigate around and have much less chance of spawning the warden. Bottles of XP. Those are very, very handy indeed. And Bane of Arthropods, which sounds useless. However, if I just craft something very specific, this is the final way to get XP in survival Minecraft. You go ahead and you use a grindstone. And you kind of get a nice little bit of XP from it. I should have really been collecting all the stuff from the end cities and using that for the grindstone. But yeah, if I find any future pieces, I will be doing that with them. It would also be nice to find Swift Sneak right about now because this is very, very slow. Two more Notch Chapels. Okay, I've just set off a Shrieker, but I'll tell you what. I'll take that. We can also go from 342 at oh, the water spawn. 342. Okay, I guess you're like 20 odd XP, which is a nice little boost. You're not a nice little boost. I am going to fly away from you. See you later. It's a bit annoying to have to fly away though, because I was doing a nice little circuit and now I've completely lost my sense of direction. But I'll just continue collecting chests as best I can. There, there's another warden coming in. Anything I want here, we can grindstone that. And I think there's a chest up here somewhere. I think this warden might be coming quick as well. Gotta be fast. Anything worth grabbing, we could grindstone that as well. Now to fly away. Oh, there's a chest here. Uh, okay, oh, Swift Sneak 3, nice. I'm just setting off every single streak right now. You know what? Who cares? What am I actually down here looking for at this point? I think I just want to get a load of XP from the skull, don't I? I think it's the hoe I'm still looking for. I've yet to get a hoe. Another Notch Chapel, nice. Those feel like 10 wardens below me. This is really not good. I'm out of space in my inventory too. Oh, they're really angry. I can hear the heart beating fast. Just got to keep flying away. Try and stop setting off every single Shrieker SP737. Okay, step one, grindstone what you don't need. Step two, realize I actually found a mending book down here, which is fantastic. I'll put it on the Elytra. And I would put Swiss Sneak on my leggings, but I've got Curse of Binding. Oh, so it's not even useful. Great. So at this point, I'm just going to craft a couple of hoes and manually start collecting Skulk. I want to see just how fast it goes up, okay? I reckon you can get a lot from this 
very, very fast. And it reveals diamonds at the same time too. Nice. So I've just made it to 12,000 XP. And I'm going to put a timer on screen and see just how long it takes me down here to get 1,000 extra of it. Just going to try and find a spot that doesn't have a million streakers. Okay, this looks good. The time starts now. You get 5 XP from a catalyst and the sensors. And then 1 XP from every sculpt block. There goes the first hole. I've got a second one though. And that's it. 1,000 XP in 2 minutes 47 seconds. Not bad at all. I actually think I could use this method to get up to 20,000. Well, I could if I stop accidentally spawning loads of wardens. Can you mind shriekers away and then not activate? Okay, they will activate, but I'll come back here later. Later when the coast is clear from wardens. Hole number two has just broke. And I do like the way this method is going, so I'm going to craft a couple more and continue collecting huts of XP. A dungeon, nice. Let's go ahead and mine that up. Bit of gunpowder as well, always nice. Also just got to 15,000 XP, which is good. Only 985,000 to go. And there you have it. 20,000 XP. And since I'm pretty close to day 13, I should technically be on 120,000 XP. Yeah, 100,000 behind schedule. Not very good. But mining the skulk has given me a good boost. I can hear sheep, so I must be pretty close to getting out of here. Yep. It's the surface. And I think if I'm going to make it to 1 million XP, I'm going to need a new plan. Yeah, I'm going to have to really step things up to get there. So it's time to begin operation, build a very, very OP XP farm. But to do that, I'm going to have to build lots of other farms for the materials, and I'm going to have to take out the wither. So I think getting rid of the wither is going to be my first thing. So I'll track down a lava lake, which I haven't successfully done, but I found a room portal, which is the next best thing. With obsidian in it as well, that's great, because it'll go nicely with the five I already have. So let me complete the portal and head on through. From there, I need a fortress in either a salt sand valley or a warped forest, or a basalt delta, that'll be fine too, because those are the kind of fortresses where the most mobs will spawn inside them. Not a fortress, but I found a treasure bastion, which is always the worth a visit. Of and you also notice I've changed not location and I've changed t-shirts. Yes, somewhere in the good old... Okay, that was not part of the plan. This, that's me trying to plug my merch and I nearly died. <laughs> I'm wearing the summer merch, alright guys? I nearly died to tell you that. I'll just concentrate on staying alive. And Oh no, precious XP. Straight into the lava. Speaking of lava, that's where you're going. I can see what is in... Whoa, he's gone out. How have you survived that? He's unbelievable, this guy. Anyway, as I was, there's a bit of netherite scrap. And that's about it, really. Nothing too exciting. Always worth grabbing the gold blocks, just in case, though. And now back to the task in hand. That is the priority. Finding that good fortress. We're in a warped biome at the moment, so it would be a perfect place. Although uh, we seem to be leaving it, so never mind. I'm sure there's going to be a decent one to be found very, very soon. Oh, uh, just another bastion, in fact. No, you know what? We're, we're, do we're done with them. We don't need them. I'm completely prioritizing fortresses. Aha! Now, this could be a very good one. It's in a basalt delta. Oh, it looks like a very good one. There's mobs everywhere. Okay, fantastic. This should be just what I need to get the three mob heads. Plus, I've still got fire resistance from the Notch Apple from earlier, so I don't have to worry about people like you, which is also very handy indeed. Ah, we got one already. Well, I've only taken out like three. That is a great start. And we're going to be getting quite a bit of XP as we deal with all these mobs. Not as much as I'd get from just mining away sculpt blocks, but still enough for it to be considered a nice little boost. I think I hear some of them in here. Oh, look at this. In the walls, I see you around the corners. Another one. Oh, wow. This, this is going very well. Come on. Let's get the next one really quickly too. And there we go. I got it. The third one is obtained. And if I'm smart about it, I could maybe do everything I need to do with just one weather. Look at you trying to shoot me in room when I'm speaking. But it won't work because I've got fire resistance. But yeah, I will need to make an obsidian farm. And that might require more than one wither because I will also need a beacon. So just in case, since I don't ever want to have to come here again, I'm actually going to go ahead and get an extra three mob heads. Oh, look at this. Some diamonds. Nice. Hold on a second. Is there anyone? Yeah, I saw you coming. But yeah, I'm going to get an extra three mob heads on top of what I've already got because this is a great fortress and I might struggle to find another one that's as good as it. I'm having to use not chapels for fire resistance as well. I don't know if it's a bit of a waste, but I did get loads of them in that ancient city, so I, I guess it's worth it. That's the fourth one, nice. And also the fifth, as well as finally the sixth. Got a good bit of XP from that too, and I can finally fly back home. Grabbing some of this on the way because it will come in handy a bit later on. Might as well do one more bastion visit on the way. I've still got a bit of fire resistance, so I can safely... Whoa, okay. Uh, hello, guys. Let me sneak through this gap instead. Not, inst not going straight into... Oh, oh, you still found me. Right, let's fly down. Not oh, crazy. You just jump straight in the lava. This time, we're getting all the XP from the spawner. I'm spleefing you. I'm getting more gold. And in the chest... Oh, look at this three piece of ancient debris. It was definitely worth the visit. Now, has my helmet got Curse of Binding? Yeah, so that helmet... Well, it's useless anyway, so I don't need to worry about it. And there is one more chest over here that I can see. So I'm just going to check what's in it anyway. Oh, more netherite scrap. Fantastic. What a fantastic treasure bastion this is. And there's no piglins here, so 
I'll, I'll take even more gold. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this gold. Maybe it'll be good for building a beacon later. Oh, it will be good because I'm hoping to make a full beacon. Although with what I've got so far, maybe, yeah, probably not though. Unless I keep finding room portals with extra little blocks here and there, which is always handy. I've also found a few things. I can't grindstone that, but I can grindstone the other three things. So we might as well take what little XP is available there. You know, it's, it's, it's got me like a good extra 50 XP that for, you know, for not much effort. Another treasure bastion? Is this just the third one I've found in a row? Are you kidding me? Don't know how many of you guys I can split. Oh, you're just going to run off on your own. Okay, well, that, that's fine by me. And I can grab even more gold. This is good for the beacon. And see what treasures lie below. Oh, I've been here. Okay, never mind then. Not not as exciting as I thought. I know there's gold in that part, but I can't be bothered to explore it. Instead, I'll just build a portal right about here. Because the next priority is getting every single material for an obsidian farm. Because I'm going to have to make a very fast XP farm if I want to get a million XP by day 100. And that XP farm requires 34,000 obsidian. Hence the reason I'm going to have to make a very, very efficient one. And the farm will also require a chunk loader to be made. So I'm going to grab... A bit more obsidian from right here. That should be more than enough, and that should be the last time I ever have to mine obsidian again. And now quite a few more materials are still required. None of them are that difficult, but one that is going to take a little bit of searching is pumpkins. Although it's not going to take that much searching because I've just flown right over some. Fantastic. So I'll just get about 10 of these because we're going to need snow golems and potentially some iron golems. So the more the merrier when it comes to, to collecting those. Look at this. Loads of mushrooms. Anyway. That's not important because I'm currently on the hunt for somewhere that will give me snow blocks. And I thought I was heading in the direction of where that village was because I knew there was a mountain with snow on it by there, but apparently I've not gone the same way. But on the positive side, I've found a few good things that can get me more XP. I'm finding every biome, just not the one I want. I do need some sand though, because it needs to be turned into 10 glass. The build is also going to require a little bit of magma, and I forgot, but these ruined portals have magma on them, so I need 11 pieces which can easily be grabbed, all from this one nether portal. I'm also nearly completely out of fire at Rocket, so I think a night of getting more creepers might be in order, because the last thing I want is to not be able to fly around. Also, down the line for the pigment farm, I am going to need quite a lot of hay bales, so I might as well collect them whenever I see them. It's 60 in total that I require, and I currently have 18. And finally, I found it. The snow. The thing is, I actually only technically need two of them. I'm going to get four in case anything happens to the snow golem. In fact, I'll get six because I really don't want to have to ever go looking for that again. And down here, there's a great opportunity to get a few more hay bales. Imagine if you were one of the villagers that lived at the bottom of here. You'd just never be able to see your neighbors that are at the top. Also, I'm going to try and save the village by plugging up that hole. It's got to be doable. Come on, SP. There we go. Will I be too late? Probably, but it's always worth a try. Ah, mission accomplished. Not bad. Now, there is a bunch of other miscellaneous items that I need to grab, but a lot of them need redstone. Redstone is something I currently have absolutely none of, so I'm going to grab the normal pickaxe, pick up my ender chest with the silk touch one, and dig my way down. Dig my way down in search of redstone. I've just dropped into an ancient city. Are you kidding me? Do I even want to explore it? Well, on the positive side, there's a lot of redstone here. So for now, I'll just focus on grabbing that. Don't think I'm going to need lapis and diamonds. Very, very nice indeed. Two here. Good, good stuff. Continue doing that. Accidentally setting off shriekers. Fantastic. Makes sense though, because there's quite a lot here. Is there actually a chest though? Okay, well, it makes it all worth it. Because I can grab the chest. And, oh, well, what a, what a pointless chest that was. I think if I continue searching this place, I'm going to spawn a warden already, aren't I? Tell you what, I'll just, keep, I'll just keep flying around until I do spawn one. Is that the ice thing? There's two of them. Where are the chests? Okay, is this one I've been to? I don't think so. There's just shriekers everywhere. It's a, it's a pain. Okay, nothing too good in there. Just a little cursor binding. Leggings, prop four. Well, I've got cursor bind leggings, so forget that. The real question is, where did I come down? Is it over there? Yep, it is, because that is where the rain is. Okay, very handy to have that there. There's a little bit more redstone that I'm going to grab. And then there's nothing else I need from here. So I'm out of there. Just goes to show, if you dig below a mountain, ancient cities are not hard to find at all. And now I've got nothing else to do other than grab every single resource that I need. Which involves making a dispenser from string from a bow. Are you kidding me? I don't have a bow. Where are all the spiders? Finally found some. Just had to wait till night. And that is my dispenser problem completely solved. I've got every single material. It's all in this chest. And now I've just got to try and find a way to carry it all. Which could have been a challenge, but I've realized I did bring four extra shulker shells so we could just make a couple of shulker boxes and shove every item into there. Now I've got to once again go to the stronghold so I can actually make this farm in the end. And I think the easiest way to do that will be to actually head to the nether and travel back to spawn through it. So this is the portal I made earlier. Hey, look out, I've got subspace bubble. That gives me more XP. And the stronghold I went to before is about 2,000 blocks in this direction. Difficult to remember the exact spot, but I remember it being somewhere in this vicinity. And whilst I'm over here, it is very important that I remember to get a bed because to build the farm I will need to set my spawn 
I don't, yeah, what this is a fancy house. I've never seen that type before. Is it new? But yeah, to build the farm, I do need to be able to set my spawn. So I shall take that. I'm sorry, whoever that was. It's now been stolen. Also better grab these hay bales. And it's a pink sheep. How rare are they? They are very, very rare indeed and actually spawn one. Great source of XP. Whilst this village is in the area, I'm just going to keep grabbing hay bales. Always going to be useful for this new farm. All of them can go in the shulker box. And now if my memory serves me correctly, the stronghold was just the other side of this mountain. Yep, I found it. I've seen the black stone that I placed last time. So yeah, right down there is where I want to be. Here we are. And now I just need to try and remember which direction was the portal room. Perfect, the mission has been accomplished. I'll do the very important thing of setting my spawn right here. And now I can start the build, which begins with creating a chunk loader. It's gonna go right in this very spot. It requires another portal. You just wedge your hopper minecart into the portal thing like that. And then this is all the redstone for it. I should also say this design is by Ian XO4 and it's a very, very good one. Well, the obsidian farm is by him. The chunk loader is by Dark. The design uses boats in a dispenser with fire on the other side. It's actually really, really cool. So you just go like that and then that and the, look at that. The boats just keep the, the chunk loaded. It's very, very nice indeed. Now, right here is going to be where the silfish is. And the snow golem is going to be here throwing snowballs at it. But they're going to be going through the portal. Now, I'm going to use the F3 screen to find infested block. There's one here. We break it. And out pops a little silverfish. And into the boat he goes. This little fella can go into there. This goes there. Activates the piston. Now, another one can go right here. To retract the piston. And with all of this done, we can now begin building the farm that's in the end part. And I've definitely set my spawn, so when I come back through the portal, I'll be taken right to here. To begin with, this farm starts with a nice little lava cast. Now I can pick it up, place water, and it does it. And the reason for this is it just means I can really easily dig down without having to worry about falling in the void or like placing water below and all that. And a platform can be built beneath the obsidian one. These are the hoppers that are gonna collect the obsidian. Now this amount of chests will hold all the obsidian that I need for the big XP farm in the end. And by in the end, I don't mean in the end dimension, I mean at the end of the video. Anyway, so that is, uh, that's all sorted. This wall is gonna be what the wither is gonna be hitting with its heads and it's just gonna easily stop them from just going off into the render distance and causing lag. This water is going to be what makes the wither heads go upwards from where I'll be stood there and instead make it so it hits those. The wither cage is complete. The chain will keep him in position and it's pretty much ready. I need to head now back to the stronghold to prepare for summoning the wither. So to begin with, I need an item on here and an item on this one. I have to do it in this order. This completely disables the pistons because the, the, the you know, the pressure plates are on there for five minutes until that item despawns. The other 12 can go in there. Each one lasts for five minutes, so that's an hour's worth of AFK, which is pretty much as long as I need. In fact, I'll add a couple more junk items so that it's an hour and 10 minutes. Just, you know what, it's an hour, it's an hour and 20 minutes now, okay? That's four Minecraft days worth, should be fine. Let's now head on through and summon the wither. Let's start by breaking this one piece of obsidian. Then there needs to be endstone like that, and endstone like that. Then it's going to be in this shape. I've quickly got to make sure there's no way for any enderman just to wander into the farm onto the platform. That would be a disaster. I think I've accomplished that. So now we summon the wither and I've got to get to my player spot. Now I've got to make sure I don't crouch. I stand upright and face that wither in the eyes when it, when it eventually appears. So he's there. If I shoot him once, he's broken some blocks. Now he is locked onto me and onto nobody else. I also need to make sure I don't crouch again because that's what got me hit and, uh, and got me with it too. It'll soon run out. And in a few minutes time, once that wheat seed despawns, the farm will start working. I've just got, I've just got to wait for it to happen. Sounds like the farm's now working. I can hear the blocks breaking. I just can't see him. Oh, there we go. You can see him just about up there. So I'll wait here until I get all of the 34,000 obsidian that I need. The obsidian has stopped breaking, which probably means the timer has run out. I've just been hit by Wither. What's that all about? And I've just misplaced my iron block. It's getting worse. All right, Gollum. Go and get him. There we go. He's doing the job. I can grab the nether star and just look at it. Look at all of this obsidian. And now I am going to need somewhere to put all of it because I, I, yeah, I can't just carry all that in my inventory. So I think I'll require a lot of shulker boxes, which will require a lot of shulker shells. And those are only found at the end cities. Don't mind me. I'm just dropping by, collecting as many shells as I can. Got 10 from that end city. This one's full of shulkers, so hopefully it'll become a lot more. Exactly nine from that one, so yeah, not quite as good. Thankfully, there should be plenty more around here. I've just about got every shulker box that I need. The only issue is I am so close to death. <laughs> Not like this, please. I'm so close to, to get it all the ones in there. Come on, just leave me alone, shulkers. That's all I ask. Okay, I'm good. I'm moving. I, I don't think I have any food left. That's the issue. There's one stray shulker bullet. Oh my goodness, right. I am going... 
to just fly down and out of the way over here. Please tell me I've got food. We've got one pork chop. Well, you know what? In the circumstances, that'll do. I also have a notch apple for an emergency. And hay bales. I have loads of hay bales. I only need 60 for the, the build I'm going to do. So I can craft bread, eat up, and live to see another day. I worked out I only need about 29 shulker boxes for the whole build. So I just thought if I get 60 shulker shells, I'll have more than enough. That is until I almost lost absolutely everything. But I'm there now, and I am out of here. Can't for the life of me find an end gateway, so I'm not too far away. I think... I'm just going to end up flying back to zero, 0 manually. I'm glad to be back. And now for 30 shulker boxes worth, I'm going to need about 30 chests. So I'm going to mine a way out of the stronghold. Tell you what, you don't half end up with a lot of junk when you go mining, don't you? Man, I need to clear some space. Let's gather up 30 birch logs. I've ended up grabbing a stack, you know, just to be sure. Now, I don't think I'm going to be coming back to the end. So I'm going to break that spawn point. And to begin with, I'll make 20 shulker boxes. Man, I'm going to need a bigger platform to put them all on. This is almost 20 shulker boxes full, which I'm... I'm pretty sure is more than enough. As long as none of them go into the void, I don't mind them up, but I'll be absolutely fine. Now, I definitely think building it near spawn is a good idea. I just need a nice flat area. So I'll get myself a chest with every single obsidian shulker box in. And I'm not quite ready to start the build because I'm also going to need quite a lot of glass. And you know what? I've actually just had a brainwave. Rather than use glass, I should use leaves. They basically have the same properties. But because I have so much iron, Getting the leaves is going to be way, way faster. I just craft up some shears and get to work. When you've only got 100 days to get a million XP, you can't be wasting ages smelting 5,000 glass. That's shulker box number one done. Just two and a half more to go. Didn't expect this to happen, but I've actually run out of iron to make shears. I had so many of them. And now I have only got to get about half a shulker box more. And there's five iron in this chest and there's a pair of shears. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, I'll have enough to complete the project. I got close, but I'm still like 100 leaves short. And I have one piece of iron. I, I could get 100 leaves with a silk touch pickaxe. Not going to happen. Instead, I'm going to have a little look for a half decent cave. And then in it, I can grab iron. That will be enough. There's a bit of spare one as well. From there, I'll smelt it, craft shears, and get those. Those final bits. All right, well, now with that breaking, I should definitely have all I need. So that too can be dropped off in the chest. And there are two things that I still need quite a lot of. One is that I need 12 stacks of spruce trap doors, which shouldn't be too difficult with a diamond axe. Although it's starting to get very problematic at nighttime. I might just sleep. I know I'm on a race against time, but if I die, then it throws everything else out the window. So I can't really risk it, especially when I pretty much don't have any food left, unless I go into my hay bale reserves, which were meant to be saved for the build. I've also had the idea that I can speed up log mining if I just make a load of gold axes because they do mine a little bit. Wait, do they mine faster? Yeah, they do. It takes a quarter of a second for a gold axe and 0.4 seconds for a diamond one. But to know that I'm, <laughs> I'm not giving you false information. I've realized if I place four spruce saplings and then grow them, I can get logs much faster than if I just go for each individual tree. I mean, just look at it. I spend way less time running around and much more time mining logs. That's all of that chopped down. And I think at this point, I might just have enough. Let's let's go and grab a crafting table and see. Because each log is four spruce planks and then each trap door uses six, but it's for two. So it's probably going to be close, but will it be close enough? Not quite. Need roughly another two stacks of them. So that won't take me long at all. Pretty much just have to grow one more of these trees and I'll be there. That's all done. They're all crafted. And so the next project can begin, which is actually going to be to get five shulker boxes worth of stone slabs. Now I'm in a bit of a situation where there could be a trade-off. Like I could do this by manually mining it. And I'm not sure how long it would take me to get a stack, but I, it might be worth me timing it. Okay, I'm starting a brand new stack. I will begin timing. Okay, it was about 26 seconds for it. I've got to do that 30 times, so it'll take me about 15 minutes. I was wondering if I should make a full haste two beacon, but such a project would require way more blocks of gold, something I don't have. By the time I would have gathered them all up, it's probably not worth it. So I'm going to make a haste one beacon. And the only thing I'm missing to be able to craft that beacon is some glass, which can be put in the furnace and then nicely crafted. From there, I'm actually going to put the beacon right about here inside this bit of mountain because I, I quite like the spot just got to make sure it's got a clear route to the sky which means dirt grass everything i think i think it can go through leaves should be okay now to plunk down nine gold stick the beacon on top and use that one piece of iron to get haste one okay so yeah that should speed things up a little bit it won't let me insta mine the stone but it's still faster than it was before and i'll get to work filling up these shulker boxes with stone slabs which probably doesn't take too long and once that happens i'll be pretty close to being able to build this XP farm and hopefully get the XP I need. That should be enough. Let's turn it into slabs and chuck it 
into the shulker box. And that means the main bulk of the items has been collected. Just got to get a load of miscellaneous things now. Such as 60 white carpet, 50 cobblestone, 32 stone buttons, 60 hay bales made from wheat, 16 turtle eggs, and a bunch of other various items. That's pretty much every item obtained right here. I just need to craft everything together. Everything I need is either in shulker boxes in this chest, those four items are irrelevant, or it's actually in my inventory. So... I can begin building. So to begin with, I'm building a little item collection system. They're basically going to all come down here, come down this cobblestone chute, and then get burned at the bottom. Just need some lava to place that position, and thankfully, there's a lava lake right here. Also, since we're on day 36, I should now have 300... And 50,000 XP. And I've not even got 22,000. So we're 330,000 behind nearly. So if this big XP plan doesn't work, I am going to be in big, big trouble for the challenge. Since I've invested a crazy amount of time into this, and I've realized I'm, I might not be out of the woods. Because fully spilled, I'm going to need about 48 minecarts, which means I'm going to need a ridiculous amount of iron. And as you can see, yeah, two is, is not going to cut it. Which means I need to stop what I'm doing and go on a serious, serious, serious... Iron mining spree. It's a race against time and getting four stacks of iron is no mean feat. Although when you find yourself in a big water cave like this, it might not be too bad to find all the iron. This is a pretty good cave. And I've got my first stack, which means there's just three more to go. And there's actually a ridiculous amount down here. Just, just look at it all. It really doesn't get any better than this. That there is stack number two. And then the third one. And finally, the fourth. There really was a ridiculous amount of iron in this cave. But now it's time to get out of here. After mining one last diamond, that is, of course. I've escaped from it. I'll place a load more furnaces down. And then get very, very busy filling them all up. That's 20 of them crafted and placed onto the rail. And by the time I've done that, loads more has been smelted, creating loads more minecarts. I'm glad this bit is now done because it means I can now get on with the build. So this is the chute that the pigmen are going to fall down. They're going to land onto those hay blocks and then they're going to run at me and fall down there into the minecarts. I need to make sure I don't fall down there. Otherwise, I'll definitely meet my demise. And now comes the fun part. Placing down obsidian in all these spaces. I've marked out all the areas. But man, it's a big job. These are going to be some seriously, seriously big portals. That's three of them done. About five more to go. Perfect. <laughs> Glad that's done. And now I'm going to build up these giant portals to be as big as they can. Giant row of portals number one is complete. And yeah, to be honest, I've made a mistake because I've put the roof on and now loads of mobs can spawn. Thankfully, they can't get to my turtle legs because of the system I built. But yeah, being overrun with mobs inside there is not something that I want. So I'll grab a bit of coal, grab some torches and light it all up. And I think the best thing to do as I build the rest of the portals is not to build the entire thing like that, but instead to just do the whole build layer by layer. And I'm also going to make sure I sleep at night because, yeah, I don't want mobs spawning all over my build. I've managed to build this middle line to be as high as it needs to be before the roof goes on. So now I'm just going to build up those bits of obsidian there to match, which isn't difficult. It's not really a difficult farm to build. It's more just the case that it is a lot of blocks to be placed, but it's very, very repetitive. That's that done. It just seems to never stop raining, does it? But what I am going to do in here is get my torches if I can find them. And I'm just going to light up the bottom because I think I'm going to need to put the roofs on because there's like an entire another section above this. So not having a roof, yeah, it would just cause me some problems. Bomb proofing is sorted, so the roof can begin. The farm's really starting to take shape, isn't it? I hope it's all worth it. I hope I make it to a million XP with this because I'm slowly but surely running out of days and the farm is still not built. And it'd be pretty sad if I don't make it, okay? I'm well behind. I need over 400 and some thousand XP to be on track, but don't you worry. I'm just going to keep placing obsidian. And it's done. Finally, the first layer is done. I just have to light all the portals when I'm ready. And all that building you've just seen me do down there, I have to do again twice. Yep, it's a big project and I have to get this finished by day 70. So no more sleeping. You know, I've got to make sure I, you, I save every single second and minute and day I have. I know I can complete this challenge. I could maybe have made a simpler XP farm that was faster, but then there was a risk that I wouldn't get enough XP, whereas this one gets you the max XP that you can get unless you make a Guardian or a Ravager farm. And I didn't fancy mine up 20,000 magma and having to place it all in the nether, so that's why we're doing this. Yes, it's a big project, but I'm just going to put my best foot forward and get building. And at long last... It is done. I, I ran out of food, so I had to eat a nut chapel to get my health up, and, and now I am very, very hungry. But the main thing is, it's complete. It's completely full of mobs, that is. So I'm going to go for a quick hunt for some food. Anything will do me. And I won't need much of it, because I'm just going to be spending the entire time 
AFK in for XP now. So that means I won't really be running around. Yeah, 17 food altogether, that's gonna do me. Although there's a little bit more of you up here, so I can't say no. To oh, you're a survivor, are you, chicken? No, you're not. But yeah, can't say no to some nice pork chops. Let's get all of these smelting. Let's get cooking all of these. And I need to grab my flint and steel, and I'm gonna have to get lighting all the portals. Really, is quite the task ahead, isn't it? Thankfully, these bottom ones are gonna be easy because I lit them up so that they're spawn proofed. And isn't this satisfying? The only thing that worries me is I am going to run out of flint and steel very, very fast. Yep, run out. I couldn't even do three of the boxes. And as you're well aware, I am completely out of iron again because I decided to use every single bit for minecarts. No, I didn't. Wait, there's one left. And I have an unbreaking three book. Hang on a minute. Let's grab a load of flint from down here. Because I have fortune three, I get it every single time from gravel. And I will still need more iron before this day is up. But let's go ahead. Chuck all of, well, chuck that together, and that should last me quite a bit more. Just all about having the master, oh no, I missed one, didn't I? Let's get that one. Yeah, it's all about having the master plans. Perfect, that's every single bottom one done. And there's no mobs up here. Okay, that's good, there's like one over there. That, that, that makes life a little bit easier. Because I'm not looking forward to having to light these with all those mobs getting in the way. I'm not going to fight you. I'm going to TP you away. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is my 200 IQ battle plan. Man, it takes a while to light everyone. Can you believe that I built every single one? That's even more crazy. And sadly, the flint still broke just before I could finish this row. So now I really do have no choice other than to grab a pickaxe, dig down, and mine a load more iron. I've got over 20 pieces, which should be more than enough. So it's time to get back out of here. It's starting to look quite cool, isn't it, with all the portals lit, actually? Yeah, it gives a bit of, bit of colour to it. Let's craft 10 and get back to work. What I'm doing right now is the last one with loads and loads of portals. There is another row above... But that only has four total cubes rather than the, the eight that are here. Perfect. And now for the fast part. I just love doing this. Oh, creep, you want to blow up? All right, well, you know what? It's obsidian. It doesn't matter. It was meant to go through the portal, okay? But yeah, it, it didn't matter because it's done. Every portal is, is sorted, so there should be loads and loads of pigmen down at the bottom. And I've just got to anger them in some way. I do have a bow, so maybe that, that could be the way to do it. Let me, let me see now. If I just punch you, that's it. Everyone get angry. That's it. Come and give me all the XP. Oh, just look at it, guys. The XP is flowing in. Now, the XP is coming in fast, but because I haven't set up the sentry pigmen that need to be over there and over there, the rest of them don't stay aggro, so a lot of them just kind of huddle in the corner and don't care, unless they see me again, you see, and I have to come back up. So I've got to add that to fully get the farm working at maximum capacity. Or I can just sit here and keep left-clicking, because that will keep them angry as well. Now, I've made it to level 100, but that is just 35,000 XP. I need a million. I've got 42 days to do it. I'm actually kind of worried I won't make it. Do you know how many levels do you have to get to get a million XP? Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Well, here we are back in the netherite world. As you can see, I have zero levels and zero XP points. And if I do the command XP add, SP77, and I do one million points, you'll see that I get a grand total of 489 levels. So that is what we need to get from this farm. Will that actually happen? I have no idea because it gets harder and harder and need more and more XP to get more and more levels. But I'll just put my best foot forward and get as much as I can. And that is 50,000 XP reach. Maybe, just maybe, this is going to be possible. I've gained like 30,000 XP in one day and we've not even had the night yet. I'm definitely starting to get a lot more optimistic. And look at this, guys. 100,000 XP just being reached. You know, by my calculations, I could have this done in about 15 days. It's fantastic. And I didn't need to build the extra sentry pigment thanks to my ingenious little workaround. So that saved me time. It's all coming together. And that is 250,000. I am a quarter of the way there. And I've got loads of time left. It's absolutely fantastic. And this farm is just working so, so well. And that is 500,000 XP collected. I have to resort to eating rotten flesh now because I've completely run out of food. It's working okay. Plus I've still got 30 days left. I am sure that I'm going to get this done with loads of time left to spare. So this is it. This is the big final push to 1 million XP points. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. The moment of truth. I am just 500 XP away from collecting up 1 million. 200 to go. 150. 100. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is 1 million XP collected in 100 Minecraft days. And actually do with 80 days to spare, which is even crazier. You also notice that I only have 488 levels, not to the 489 I had in this world when I gave myself a million XP points. And that's because I used some levels on mending and I used some levels on making those elytra. But I'll get to level 490 anyway. There we go. It has been reached. And if this video gets a million likes, I will go for 1 billion XP in 100 Minecraft days. Also, please subscribe because this took forever to make.